Welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue with chapter 12 and we will discuss on 12.1 thermal expansion. So thermal expansion is defined as a change in the dimensions of the body accompanying to a change of the temperature. Okay, so, okay, so meaning that we have two conditions. The first condition is when it is hot, so the dimension will expand. Okay, if let's say when it meets the cool conditions, it will shrink. Okay, so the thermal expansion of an object is a subsequence of the change in the average separations between its constituents atom or molecules. Okay, at the original temperatures, molecules vibrate with a small amplitude. As the temperature increases, the amplitude increases, so this will cause the object as a whole to expand it. Okay, so meaning that when it's a hot condition, it will expand it. Okay, when it is a cold condition, it will shrink. Okay, so there are three types of thermal expansion. The first one is a linear expansion, meaning that 1D. And the second one is area expansion. Okay, meaning that it will expand in two dimensions. And the last one is the volume expansion, meaning that it will expand in three dimensions. Okay, so let us begin with the linear expansion. The first one, okay, consider a thin rod of the initial length L0 and the temperature T0 is heated. Okay, so when it's heated, it will expand it. Okay, so initially L0, so it will expand it, become longer. Okay, so our L become L0 plus delta L. Okay, so the equations for the linear expansion, we can write it as delta L equals to alpha delta L0 times the change of the temperature. Okay, so this is the first equations for the linear expansion. Okay. The coefficients of linear expansion, okay, so since our equations, okay, is equals to L, delta L equals to alpha, L naught, change of the temperature. So therefore, our alpha, we can write it as alpha equals to change of the length over original length times the change of the temperature. Okay, or we can also write the equations for the linear expansion where L, L here is the final length equals to L naught, the original length times 1 plus alpha change time change of the temperature okay okay next one we will go to area expansion okay so area expansion meaning that it will expand in two dimension okay so this type of expansion involves the expansions of the surface area so consider the plate of the initial area a0 and the temperature t0 when it's heated okay to a new uniform temperature it will expand it okay by delta a okay so meaning that it will expand it okay in two dimensions, in x exit and also y exit. Okay, so the equations for area expansion is change of the area equals to beta times the original area times the change of the temperature, where beta here is actually equals to 2 alpha. Okay, so if I say you don't have beta, you also can uh, times 2 alpha, you will get back the beta. Okay, and another equation for the coefficients of the uh, area expansion beta we can write it as change of the area over area times the change of the temperature and we also can write it as the final area equals to the initial area times 1 plus beta times change of the temperature okay next one is the volume expansion okay so volume expansion meaning that it will expand in three dimensions Okay, so three dimension meaning that it will expand it in x exit, y exit, and also z exit. Okay, so three dimension. The equations for the volume expansion is equal to delta v equals to gamma times the original volume times the change of the temperature. Okay, and the coefficients of the volume expansion gamma is equal to change of the volume original volume times the change of the temperature. And finally, the last equation for the volume expansion is the final volume equals to the original volume times 1 plus gamma times change of the temperature. Okay, so let us speak. start with the exercise. A steel ball has a diameter of 1.7 cm at a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. Even then, the coefficients of the volume expansion is given 3.3 times 10 to the power negative 5 
Calculate the diameter of the steel ball at the temperature of 77 degrees Celsius. Okay, so okay, so we want to find the diameter. Okay, so the diameter here actually is we want to find the uh, 1D, uh, 1D, meaning that we only want to find the linear expansion. Okay, so our equations here we want to find the diameter equals to D not 1 plus alpha change of the temperature okay so the initial so this is the initial where we have 1.7 in cm okay times 1 plus alpha okay so here we don't have alpha we only have the volume expansion so we know that volume expansion is actually equal to 3 alpha therefore alpha is equal to gamma over 3 or we can write it as 3.3 3.3 times 10 to the power negative 5 over 3 so our alpha is actually equal to 1.1 times 10 to the power of negative 5 and the change of the temperature is actually final minus initial where final is 77, initial is 27 so therefore we will get our final diameter where is equal to 1.701 in cm because just now our initial diameter is in cm so our answer also in cm Okay, next one we want to find when the temperature at the negative 56 degrees Celsius. Okay, so similar equations D equals to D naught 1 plus alpha times change of the temperature. So the initial diameter is 1.7 in cm times 1 plus alpha 1.1 times 10 to the power of negative 5. And the change of the temperature, so our final temperature is negative 56 and the initial temperature is 27 okay so meaning that the temperature is dropped so when the temperature is dropped uh, the object or the steel ball will stream huh? okay okay so if we press the calculator we will find that the answer is 1.698 cm okay become smaller huh? because stream huh? stream meaning okay when the temperature is increased this time from 27 increase to 77 okay it will expand huh? so you will get the diameter is increased. Okay, next we go to question number two. At 20 degrees Celsius, a steel spar has a diameter of 0.9 cm, while the diameter of the hole in the aluminium plate is 0.899 cm. Okay, calculate the temperature of the steel spar when it just passed through the hole. Okay, just passed through. Okay, meaning that same uh, diameter with the hole if both ball and the plate are heated in the same time. Okay, so meaning that we want to find what is the temperature when uh, the steel spar can pass through the hole in the plate. Okay, so the first one is we must uh, okay know that okay when it can pass through, meaning that the diameter of the ball actually equals to the diameter of the plate. Okay, so that it will can pass through the hole. Okay, so we need to find out what is the temperature. Okay, so for the ball here, our Diameter initial 1 plus alpha of the ball times the change of the temperature is equal to diameter of the plate times 1 plus alpha of the plate times the change of the temperature. Okay, so the first one for the plate, our initial diameter of the plate is equal to 0.899. And the diameter of the steel spot initially is 0 0.900 huh? because the diameter of the ball is 0 0.9, meaning that it still cannot pass in through. Okay, because the hole here only 0 0.899. Okay, so but when we heat it together, okay, the hole will expand it and the ball it will drop. Okay, so we want to find what is the temperature. Okay, so we continue 1 plus alpha of the ball is equals to 1.1 times 10 to the power of negative 5. And the change of the temperature is T final minus the initial. Initial is 20 degree. Okay. And then similar alpha of the plate. Plate here meaning that it's the aluminium plate. So it's 2.2 times 10 to the power of 5. And the change of temperature is T minus 20. Similar. Okay. Okay. So if you refer here, uh, the alpha. Okay. The, the value for the alpha for the steel is 1.1, whereas for the aluminium is 2.2. Okay, meaning that for the aluminium plate, it will expand faster compared with the steel spot. Okay, 
So finally, if we press calculator, we will get the temperature is equal to 121 degree Celsius. Okay, so that's all for this video. Okay, we will continue with the next video with the new subtopic thermal expansion of the liquid. Okay, so see you on next video. Bye.